Um, hi, I'm Rachel Gorge. I'm the office manager at Bracknell Town Council. Uh, we're the largest parish council in uh, the Bracknell Forest Borough. Um, we have 12 wards and 27 councillors. And uh, so obviously it's been um, quite a big journey for your council. You've taken it upon yourself to, uh, to modernise um, more or less every area of the council. Um, so what was the journey um, you know, to, to making that decision and, and obviously specifically around um, deciding to install a, a hybrid meeting room? Uh, so I began my employment with Bracknell Town Council um, nearly three years ago and um, before that I worked for a large corporation um, that was very modern and um, I found um, that the Town Council wasn't quite there we, we've decided that it's time to upgrade and this does mean at this point upgrading everything because without changing the internet we can't move on to cloudy and uh, using Microsoft Teams and things like that. Um, but hybrid meetings are something that it's going to be so useful for us um, into the future. So even though legally at the moment we're not allowed to hold hybrid meetings, um, we can involve the public through the hybrid technology that Cloudy have installed for us. So we can allow people who don't live locally to do presentations for the council. We can allow public to join from the comfort of their own homes. So part of installing the hybrid meeting equipment is to try to reduce our carbon footprint a bit. So the Bracknell Town Council manages 33 parks. So we are very focused on the environment and making sure that we're doing things um, as best we can to reduce our carbon footprint and this is one of the ways we're going to start to do that. So am I right uh, when we come down you said you had a couple of other quotes from other people for, for meeting rooms? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I had quotes from three different companies I think. Okay and what was it that specifically sold you on the Logitech system that we install? So the system that you've installed for us um, was tailored to our needs. So we have quite a large council chamber having 27 councillors. We also then have at least three officers present when we have a full council meeting. Sometimes we can have the public in the room and the shape of our room, the shape of our table and how people sit in the meetings was really a big part of it. A lot of the other companies, number one, didn't visit the council chamber to assess the room or our needs, which Cloudy did and that was very much appreciated. Um, you also then discussed all of the different options with us to make sure that we were getting the right level of technology for um, the size of room and the amount of people that we're going to have in there. Um, after doing a test with you, after you installed it, I'm absolutely amazed that you don't have to shout when you're at the opposite end of the room um, to be heard and also it's not blasting in your ears which other companies were concerned about the strength of the speakers you might have to use could impact those people sitting closest to them but you've managed to work out a system that will work for everybody in that room um, and you're just really friendly as well and that was a massive part of it from the beginning of dealing with Cloudy the customer service has been exceptional um, I've not had as many demos with, in fact, I've had no demos with other companies, um, whereas you did three demos for us. Um, you visited us several times, we've had several calls, and just that connection that we've got and the communication has been second to none, and that was a real big um, pushing point in us moving with Cloudy, especially for our hybrid equipment. Oh, that's great. That's very, that is really good to hear, though, so thanks for that. Yeah, it's true. No one else came out. Yeah. Wait, okay. So how did you feel that the, the install process um, went with your meeting room? Um, the installation process from Cloudy was great as well. Um, we had, again, lots of communication when it came to sorting out dates and organising parking and everything that we needed for us to be organised. 
Um, you arrived with all of the equipment that you needed and you just got on with it. Um, the one thing I would say is that I was sad that you didn't have a lunch break and you just carried on straight through <laughs> because you were working non-stop for the, all, all those hours that you were there. Um, you were relentless, let's be honest. <laughs> You were relentless. You guys just, you got the job done. It looks fantastic. You tidied up afterwards and um, it is brilliant. It was brilliant. Okay, that's great. That's really good to hear. Um, should have done a break though. <laughs> yeah, I did want to. I got as far as looking at the menu. Yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah, it just yeah, it didn't it, happen. It. Yeah. So I'll be travelling up to try that Greek another day. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the system's installed, um, how do you feel that it will, will benefit the council going forwards? Bracknell Town Council has always tried to engage the public. It's one of those uh, things where we're so close um, to the borough council and people get us confused a lot of the time um, so they get a lot more engagement than we do and we want the public to be engaged in, in everything that we do as I said before we manage so many parks and play areas so everything we do is just lovely it's all trees and plants and the environment and the public are really um, they're really passionate about that and we want to encourage them to get involved with our meetings so that when we make changes, um, we can make changes that, ref uh, that reflect what the public actually want us to do. Um, so having the hybrid equipment is going to be fantastic for getting people who can't get to our office during our meetings because they're all in the evening as well. Um, they're going to be able to join our meetings um, by the equipment, we know from testing it out, there's not going to be any technical difficulties. I mean, it's so simple to use. Um, they're going to be able to hear us as clearly as if they were in the room. And um, moving on to all of the other systems that we're taking on with Cloudy. So we're moving um, on to Office 365. We're going to be using Teams. Um, which is very easy for the public to use as well. We're taking on extra applications as well so that um, we can improve our processes when it comes to writing agendas, having uh, minutes, um, and all of that stuff is going to make all of our processes smoother and sleeker. So using the decisions application uh, which we are taking on and that's what I'm most excited about because I write the minutes and most of the agendas for our meetings. It's going to mean that um, the councillors in the room can add notes to the agendas as they're going through. I can type up my minutes basically at the same time. I think it's going to cut my workload in half when it comes to writing agendas and minutes which is something that I'm so excited to start using. Um, but the public are going to be able to get more involved, basically. The councillors are going to be able to get more involved. And as I said before, we're trying to reduce our carbon footprint. So we're going to decrease printing. And that's where the Decisions app will really come into its own. That we can send out our agendas all virtually. Everyone can do their notes virtually. We don't have to print out packs of 50 pages for all 27 councillors anymore. Um, and... I think the whole system that we're taking on board with Cloudy is just going to change our whole way of working. Um, I am a bit worried because it's we are changing everything all at one time, um, but it's just worry because of how much we're changing. I think if you speak to me in six months time, the benefits of everything that we've done with Cloudy are going to outweigh any of this worry that I've got. Perfect. We certainly hope so anyway. So. <laughs> That's great. Thank you for all of that. <laughs>